Let's analyze all together in five minutes Mullen Automotive, Old Alliance, Global Tech Industries, NEO, and American Virtual Cloud Technologies. Amazing stocks that you just mentioned, even to the upside or to the downside. We love to analyze them. Subscribe below and let's get started with the percentages for this week. Yeah, very interesting. American Virtual Cloud, actually, it was the only survivor. You know, we have uh, this stock at plus 21%, but the rest, as you can see, all in negative territory. Global Tech Industries has been insane. Look at the downtrend. We lost a key support level. We're going to take a look at it. Uh, but let's start first with Mullen Automotive. What can you tell us about that, Enrique? Okay, we are in the one hour time frame at this red candle very fast to the downside. And from there, the price started to trade inside of this range. In my opinion, it will continue trading inside this range in order to decide if we break to the upside or to the downside to continue watching new low levels. What do you think? Yeah, I think the same, you know, we have a, a lot of buying pressure right here. It's like they're trying to reverse the price right now at 0 0.10. But, you know, it's not very significant. We don't have a rebound yet. So we are, as you mentioned, in the middle of nowhere. So we have to wait and see. Okay, next one. We have Alt Alliance. Uh, like the situation is very similar, you know, like we have a huge uptrend and then now going back again 0 0.010, no, 0 0.09 and um, or 0 0.10. But in the middle of nowhere, you know, it's like they're trying to buy a little bit, but not so much interest here. Yeah, we had this triple bottom right here. Even if we go farther uh, to the past, we can see another bottom right there. So kind of fourth bottom there. This is a clear technical indicator that there is support area right there. But we are not there yet. So there is no reason for the price to bounce right here. It could happen. You know, that's why you have to analyze very closely with these kind of stocks. But uh, from technical analysis perspective, the best entry was the 008. And right now, this could be just a correction or another visit to that level. Let's see how this week goes. Yeah, remember that if you buy right now, you are risking like minus th uh, 13%. Similar to Mullen Automotive. You buy right now Mullen Automotive and you're risking the same amount. Very interesting, you know, like they, they are, uh, there is some sort of correlation between the two. Uh, and I would say the rest of them as well. Very interesting. So let's take yeah. a look at the next one. Global yeah, Tech Industries. Lower at the lowest part of the chart, you know? So from technical perspective, it mm -hmm. seems like a very good opportunity, but also we have to take into account the long term. And if we continue to break those support levels, this doesn't mean that is the best opportunity, but we have to analyze with a lot of detail in that reason. Mm -hmm, exactly. So in, in Global Tech Industries, that's a little bit different because, you know, we have a lot of uptrend, you know, a lot of push in the in comparison to the uh, to the previous two stocks. But also if there is, if we are in the middle of nowhere because if, if you want to buy the stock, 1.13 is the best area to buy in terms of risk management. We are we are risking the same amount more or less with, you know, in comparison. Let's take a look. Yeah, or another 13 percent. Very interesting, you know, like in all of them in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in this case, we had, as you mentioned, a clear uptrend happening right here since December 2022. As as we saw this breakout happening, this first right here at 1.98, more or less, and then the second one right here, very significant at 1.65, uh, the price started to drop very, very fast to the downside. And I think they are watching for those levels of 113 or even 0 0.85. We don't know yet. We have to see the general market situation also. But this week has been very dramatic for GTI. So we hope that all of you uh, follow your trading plan and you are managing risk properly. And if not, that you learn from those mistakes. And let us know in the comments your opinion for next week of GTI. Mm -hmm. So now, NEO, very interesting as well. We have the its trade right now 8.85. So similar situation is going down as the rest of them. So, uh, but here is different, you know, because here we do have a support level. It, it 8.85 and they're actually rebounding the price. Not so bad. We have to wait and see, but at least they are trying to. Yeah, exactly. In this stock, this is fun, you know, because technical analysis worked perfectly also. Uh, we were talking about this in the previous video of NEO, that this is the stock for swing traders, because th let's take a look at the wider perspective. You can clearly see the parallel channels one before after another. And then you see the breakouts happen and then you have the significant moves. And this week hasn't been different. We were mentioning that if we saw this breakout right here, this could mean that we will visit the 8.85 level very fast. And it happened. And from there, it seems like they started to buy again. Maybe this could be a good buying entry from technical perspective. We have to see how this week goes. But this seems like 
a stable one, in my opinion. Yeah, I would say buying at, at this level, I, I think in terms of risk management, is very good. If we lose this support level, I would say 8.09 is the next one, the strongest one, actually. It's like the biggest support level ever in this particular stock. And let's finish with American big Virtual Cloud Technologies, because this is the exception this week. You know, we have a hit. We had a huge rebound here. Like they're trying to reverse the price. The new lows were at 0 0.0866, I'm sorry. And now we are trading, you know, more than 100%. Yeah, exactly. This was very interesting. Uh, we were analyzing this in the past months, talking about this possibility of the downtrend. It finally happened, you know, and right now it seems like it's trying to recover. We have an uptrend of more than well, an, an upside movement, sorry, of more than 100%, which is very, very interesting. And this week has been positive, even with uh, negative uh, market situations, you know. So in my opinion, this is good, but also take into account that this level of 0 0.17 or 0 0.20 around this level, I think there is a lot of resistance area, in my opinion. So be very careful because the next week we could see the bears start to enter there. So right now, I think the price is trading inside this range, you know, the red uh, line right here of 0 0.20 and the white line below as a support area. Exactly. Remember, guys, that there are a lot of bear, um, bearish traders that they are not closing the positions out, but actually waiting for the best moment to add more selling pressure, you know. So don't fight the trend. If they try to push the price lower, it's not, it's not a good idea to try to uh, have a resistance right there. If you don't, if you, if you are, I mean, at least if you are, unless you are a millionaire, because if you have millions and millions of dollars and you can put them into the market, maybe you can reverse that trend. But at this particular point with the stocks that are losing money in every quarter, it doesn't make much sense. Yeah, exactly. As, as we always like to mention, uh, we don't have to bias ourselves as buyers or sellers. We have to act for the, our own benefit. And if mm -hmm. we see that the market is going lower, uh, you don't have to be the hero that saves the stock. Wait for a better opportunity and enter at the best at the best possible price. And if you see the stock is going up, uh, but you hate that company, you can take a look at different uh, assets, but don't try to sell in order to, to to conquer the market because it won't happen. You know, with our uh, small amounts of capital, we can just apply the technical analysis perspective, risk management, and put the probabilities on our side. So thank you very much, guys. We have a video on the right for you, and remember to subscribe here. Welcome to Trading HD. Have a nice weekend and thanks.